Hello and welcome. It's uh, Monday, 18th of June, 2018. Welcome. And uh, technical analysis. You like it? You love it? You hate it? It drives you a little frustrated. Not within DGB by no means. For there is not nothing for me to do on this. I remember my last buy order was 401. It hit right here. So I haven't done anything since and I don't need to. I'm swing trading this a little bit on Bittrex, but also on Poloniex. Uh, that's only used to trade this code as well as one of the places where I'm hedging against Bitcoin. Thus, I got Tether on there. That's all I got on that, that site. Don't need to log in. But Binance, I don't like technical analysis sometimes. Let's go to the chart. And this is Theta. A while back, days ago, when it was in this sideways range at about 2,500, I was stating that, uh, well, I drew a line at 22.95. Why? Because the Fibonacci downside from a move of this low to this high represents that of a price target, 22.95, 15 minute time frame. This is what I wake up to, this thing falling. Okay, let's get my buy order ready. Oh, it goes up. Okay, well, I, I, bear market, I'm not going to trust it. It goes down a bit more. I wasn't around to watch this move happen. And I was out for the most of the afternoon, so I wasn't even available to trade during this time frame in here. Well, I was available to trade at 12.30. I just had no idea this code was doing such. It hit this line though. I have 22.95 drawn in, and I always talk about how it usually pierces extra. Usually, uh, the low is 22.83, piercing extra 12 basis points. I know my buy order is 22.50ish, so it didn't hit. Don't even have to log on to Binance. In fact, this is where this is the data is coming from. I didn't get my buy order hit. Yeah, this is the frustrating part. So now I'm looking at the chart. This rallied up to highs better than its move at 9.45 this morning. And then in a duration of around a dozen or a little more periods or around a dozen, it has this move that breaks down below the 18 average of lows is unable to hold and stay below that. In fact, the next period it rallies up above the 18 highs. Two periods, really three after that, coming back to the newly rising 18. It's now since broke it higher. Okay. So that tells me that I may want to consider upping my buy order to somewhere around here. So do I have to log on to Binance? If I want to change order, I kind of have to soon. It's just a little frustrating when this becomes a little too perfect and then greed if you will or trying to get the best price doesn't work for when you talk about buy orders if i were to choose like say 2305 2308 well, i would have got it hit here so if this would have been the bottom i would have won and buying at that number would have lost of course buying at that number won at 12.15 and you're barely in better shape buying here compared to down here. And if you did a very small pierce below, you probably got in, but it would have been close because 22.87 you're in, 22.81 you're out. So by buying, so if you know, well, you know what, this could pierce down to 20, well, 22.50, 22.40 as I was putting my buy order in. Yeah, it could pierce there as a good probability odds, but not much of a difference as a buyer if I get, say, 2302 or 2250. But I stand a higher probable chance of getting the buy at the higher number. 
as we can see here. But I do like how this is forming through because now I look at the 2250 buy and to me that's a terrible level to buy. It's got to be higher or lower. Why? Well, higher because of the reversal of trend and the adjustment of the market. So you want to buy if you're getting the cheapest price as it's correcting back to where this area comes or came from closer to the 2360 to 2350 handle. But if we're having this decline as we've had starting from here, the only real good attempt in which it made to revert the trend was here. And obviously that failed, failed, move fast, move lower. So now it's having its better attempt now because it, what it did last time was it took one period to get well above the 18 breaking highs not seen in several dozen periods. But then within two periods comes back down to correctionary phase, 18 highs, spends about four periods there and then falls to deeper in the correctionary phase, 18 lows. And you can see how the 18 neutralized. Thus, instead of trying to correct from a newly rising, it's trying to correct from a neutral situation the, from a negative spot and down it goes. So now, since here, well, the difference of course is several periods and showing the bullish productive stages you'd be trying to find within technical analysis. So I think the best times to buy, other than just going in right now because you're seeing the trend, but trying to get the cheaper prices in here. Or if you're going to buy, maybe instead of having 2250, I would want to say you'd want to play closer to the line again at around 2300. But probably better than that, I'd be looking for the new Fibonacci downside, which is that def at this point with 2284 and 2407 now you're talking about 2211 so even 2200 so i wouldn't be a buyer from 22 and a quarter to 2280 and right now that's where my buy order is placed so that's got to change so I will have to at the end of this video remove my buy order and probably place one at around 2350 I'll look at the bid ask and if I see a big wall block buy border somewhere in that area then I'll go one Satoshi higher quickly look at a few other ones of course everything you do always within your own risk own reward I don't think I said that at the start of the video and to me risk reward management your portfolio management always job number one I did an interesting video yesterday talking about 20 minutes about portfolio management and my view on things so that's available if interested now does waves have the uh, opportunity here to make it to and maybe pierce above the 18 highs which is 57.3 price action 54.7 now in the satoshi well it's got an interesting short-term chart one hour time frame well it's testing a previous key area now the original point would have been this area here as the big point of resistance and it established a lower end point here as well along the way so it first had to make a nice move above here but notice technical analysis in this spot because by this point in here you knew how those two resistance levels that I pointed out it was, it was obvious so here's a situation within this point in here where it gets to the higher end and spends several periods amongst this level and then comes back here key area right back to this previous first level now resistance didn't quite make it up to the upper end of this range but the lower end it sure did but what does it happen in here oh this 
So is this a surprise that this is occurring? By no means is it a surprise. And when we look at the overall curvature within the market, normally you don't get the nice little working your way into traditional bullish market setups, but you just get the big up and down moves that are big. For example, here goes down. And then you have the failed breakout, so be it. Nice little fast move higher, nothing doing. Same thing again here and even here. They, this is a spot where instead of having that big V shape, it's more of a U shape formation, which is, I'm gonna, uh, just there's a Terry Clark song, you're easy on the eyes and stuff like that. It's easier trying to trade this by being patient and spending, looking at seven, eight, nine, 10, 12 periods go by and see the setups come into place. With that being said, this might be an area of resistance that could come back to here or could just have a big major down move like a lot of the down moves have had as well. But we know that this thing can just rise fast whenever it's in place. And as a market condition stands right now, the fact that it's had about four sideways periods within such especially if this happens like a couple more going sideways to meet up with the 18. When this thing gets going, then it's probably gonna have a nice leg higher, which conservatively would be a retest of this high at 555. But realistically towards this three times hit resistance at about 576, as where I would think the next leg higher would have the potential to go. If we look at this, say, on a three-hour time frame, not quite as choppy. And this is where I look at it as in, well, it's choppy along the way, but as far as its trend, it's having choppy moves with, that it occurred here within the downtrend. Best the 18 could do was just flatten out. And every time it got above the 18 for the first time, it never held. So three failed OK rally attempts in here, thus making two kilos. And in this case, 18 average flattened. Lower volatility, but still support hasn't been breached. And reversal of trend is forming. Notice that's present tense, forming. It's in the process of doing, and the, it's doing that of reversal of trend early stages of bull market which means it can only go one of two ways in here for the most part one is significant leg higher which is basically at least now to here or we're looking at that failed breakout fast move lower because it's made the statement with just this that this thing is ready to revert the trend and at least as i state have a move here just for at least one leg at least one leg kind of deal so then we'll just let the market uh do what it needs to do from here but if it's a failed move lower that means you're looking at least going down to pretty much here and then key word on that is at least because this thing has been in a large downtrend making several lower highs. And let's pick, a, let's pick a random code. I just looked at a bunch that, that at least was worth talking about and it happened to be Lumen. So we'll finish this off because we're on the 14 and change minute mark now. And I don't mind doing a little bit more, but not much. Okay, so high volatility, big time. After the bar market of last year where this goes down to 300 and really didn't break out past uh, good resistance points until 1,000, it goes all the way up to 6,000. Monster volatility, 6,000 down to 2,200. And look how well this line worked out, but I can't remember how I drew this in. So I just, it just seems that a lot of ones that I draw and do this, hence the early show on Theta, but since this point, 
The bull market starts really around the early parts of April, like all the other coins did for the most part, up until the end of the month, May 1st. Okay. Is this rally an April Fool's rally? Maybe, but within this, you support originally before it goes to the leg higher on April 26th. So it's in the area, but I said but way too many times. You hit it here twice, eh, three times, almost a second. And again, it's doing a lot of support at this 3,500 variable it's at now. And it's been... doing so in a consistent downtrend, descending triangle. On a break of this level, I wouldn't be surprised if the price action comes here. So me as a trader, what this means is this area in here, well, I don't know why the chart's doing this, why it just goes shaky like this, but this little area here between 3,000 and 3,200 is almost like the no buy zone area, even 3,350. Because if I'm going to buy in this area, I'll do it now. Even maybe 3,400. But I realize if this area gives in, it's going to be a decent leg lower, which means I would predict it would come down to this area between about 20. 800 and this line at 25 with even a deeper pullback to my fib number at 22. So therefore, that's just how I play. If I see an area where if it breaks down to one area to another, I know where I want to buy and where I don't want to and so on. And I'll finish it off within Bitcoin because that's exactly what the case is there for me on the long term time frame. As we look at this, say on the weekly term time frame, which shows the uh, similar sort of thing. Now three times hit area at 6,000. So for me, 5,200, 5,000 is only small and just a barely buy at all because that's where the failed breakdown would be. 4,000, I mean, this little point here is like the no buy zone for the most part. 3,000. This area here is the aggressive buy zone. And like I'm stating with theta on the outset, if you want to be safe, like a 3100, 3150 buy for that area, because if it goes to 3100, it's probably going to go 29, 2800, which means at 3000, 3002, well, I mean, it's got almost the same chance of buying it. And if it goes to 3,002, you're probably going to get 2,905 and 2,920. But do you really care if you're looking to buy at three? So you get your order in at, say, 3,004 or whatever. Do you really care if it goes to 2,800 and then just shoots up? I mean, I, to me, it's just giving you a better chance of the buy order in. Because mathematically, your, your gains that you have will make little difference at all. All right then, thank you for tuning in to today's video and have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.